Good morning, Parkside. Welcome to the Midweek Encouragement video. Thanks for taking the time to tune in here. Uh, this week, man, I am encouraged by a couple of things that relate to the local church actually functioning as the local church, being on mission, being united together in the gospel. You know, all over the world, all over America, it seems like we just see people that are, are nitpicking at each other. They're, they're finding little stuff to fight about and separate over and really struggling to unite around a common goal. And and the local church is my prayer that it will be a, a countercultural organization, a countercultural institution where we can unite over the gospel and being on mission together and see that go forward. And this week I saw Parkside do that and it was so encouraging to me. Yesterday I was at a, a plant indie luncheon where group of churches together to plant other churches in Indianapolis area, 25, 30 pastors there all gathering as the Fields Church in Westfield gets ready to launch August 14th. I hope you will stop uh, right after this video and pray for the Fields Church as they get ready to launch uh, with 40 or 50 members. Praise God for that. Uh, but wow, what a blessing it was to see these 25 or 30 pastors together saying, hey, we see the need for other churches. We want to gather together, pool our resources so that the work of the gospel can go forward in this area. We also saw last week at Parkside, uh, one of the first unanimous votes in a long time, one of the first ones I can ever remember, uh, last Sunday when it came to our budget. And man, what a beautiful thing it was to see God's people unite in harmony, in a unanimous vote and say, yeah, we're going to move forward together. Surely there's little things that somebody would want to change, but to say, uh, you know, they want to change this or that in the budget, but to say, hey, we can get together and behind us and move forward uh, with the priority being the gospel growing deeper in our hearts and, and proclaiming it to our neighbors and to the city and to the ends of the earth. Uh, and when you see brothers and sisters uh, united in that way, it is such an encouragement. It is so beautiful to say, man, we are in this together. We're locking arms with each other. We're locking arms with other churches in this area. And even last week when I was in Costa Rica with the Fergusons, we're, we're locking arms with them around the world because God has given us a mission. And whether we're, we're uh you know, in, in good health or in bad health, whether our finances are, are doing great or our finances are in shambles, whether emotionally we're on top of the world or we're in a deep and dark depression to know that we are with each other. There are brothers and sisters you can lock arms with on mission because Jesus has called us out of the darkness into his marvelous light so that we would proclaim his excellencies. That's what First Peter tells us. And we do that ourselves and we do that with others Park said, I love being part of this body of Christ that is on mission together. Uh, and I pray that you will uh, not only love being part of this body, but also yourself individually and corporately be on mission together. Uh, this Sunday is a big one for us, Parkside. It's July the 3rd, coming together. Uh, I'll have a couple of comments uh, in our service about uh, Roe v. Wade being overturned. Uh, we've also, right after the service, got the send-off party for the McKays. It'll be brief with light refreshments as they get ready to move to Atlanta. I hope you'll plan to stick around for just a couple minutes and express your appreciation uh, to them for their ministry at Parkside. Uh, big Sunday. Hope you'll be here. Uh, we'll also be singing the song that we sang last week. Uh, God is for us is the name of it taken from Romans eight. You can see the link in the email. I hope you'll listen to that, reflect on beautiful truths so that when we gather as a church, we can sing loudly these praises to our God, to our King, that he is for us all the time. Parkson, I love you. Hope you have a great Wednesday. I'll see you Sunday. Bye.